Right golfers, I want to show you how this simple holding down the handle releasing drill is going to help you really connect up the club, the face, the handle to your body turn and get you also to understand how to turn your body a lot more. It's a real simple golf lesson that loads of you can use on the course, off the course with nearly any club to be fair to get feel of a more solid struck golf shot. Now remember if you're liking the tips don't be afraid to hit the like button down below but also in the description down below you'll see a link to my weekly newsletter which goes a little bit more in depth on some of these coaching ideas. It's absolutely free. Come and join the community every week a newsletter hits your inbox helping you learn golf in a more myth busting fashion. So the common issue I see with a lot of golfers is not really understanding the rotational values if you like of a release of a downswing and follow through of the club control lots of golfers see the club and the face having to move in quite linear straight lines towards a linear target that they see so they see a ball and then a target and they draw a line in their mind and then we see golfers kind of trying to move along these lines where really what we're doing is swinging the club towards us back out to the ball and back in towards us it's doing this lovely rounded linear movement and it's actually only down on this straight line that you see for your you know with your ball to target line eyes for a minuscule amount of time and the more we understand the rotational value the more we understand the rotational value of a face opening, straightening and closing to straight onto the camera here, because there's in golf tuition, there's terms like open and close, which do get confusing for some, because obviously if we take this as straight, rely straight onto the camera here, so I'm at a right angle with the face. As I go back, we can turn the face this way and it can be called close, because we're turning it this way. But as you can see, you can see more of the face on the camera here, can't you? Because it's not closed it's open to this spot so there is a rotational value in there as well which often gets a little bit worked out of golfers which doesn't really help them hit good shots often causing ideas where their rotation goes from their turns their body turns so it turns more into a big lateral shift which causes these kind of drills this way and then we see people even backing up as they do turn their body but then they try and keep the club going rotationally forward and we see the butt end of the club out here kind of missing their body club trying to go linear arms breaking down you, you've seen them all you know it's so many golfers you play with or it's even you where you see these kind of messy impact positions so what I want you to do to get the feel of some rotation and get your body and club syncing up is we're going to hold it with trail hand only and you can see I'm holding here at the base of the grip so we've got this nice bit stuck out in front of me now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the club into this position here so it's parallel to the ground but it's also parallel to my ball to target line and the butt end of the club here is shooting off towards my target the green area so we're not here and we're not back here and to do this I'm having to hinge my trail hand back quite a lot well at the same time I'm having to let my trail elbow not only fold out so more this way but also bend slightly because if I keep that straight and bend it in basically the club is stuck out in front of me this way so we need trail hand bend, trail arm bend, and it's rotating out. So in effect, I'm turning this palm to this camera here with the club. Now it's important that you understand that because we're gonna go from this position, which you wanna feel in this demo, to getting this butt end of the club to point up to my tummy button as quick as possible and then stay connected to my tummy button. So remember at the moment, it's pointing this way. Also from the front on camera, you're gonna see that my hand is behind my trail leg. So I'm not in here where lots of people think they need to do. This is the linear hit when they try and get their arms going way across their body for extra shaft lean. Such a common mistake that. So my arms behind me and I've got it parallel and parallel. Now what I'm gonna do is get this butt end as quick as I can up to my tummy button, which is just around impact to just before. And then I'm gonna keep it focused on my tummy button. So again, my arc off center at the top of my club to my tummy button. Then as my tummy button rotates, it's gonna stay connected to my tummy button. And what that is gonna feel for lots of golfers, it's gonna feel like two things. It's gonna feel like a lot of rotation with the club. So you're gonna feel that the face is going from pointing at this camera to then pointing back this way. 
that's a good rotational value we need, opposed to golfers coming through and keeping that face linear, straight. And then the next thing you're going to find is that there is a real unwinding of the wrists and the elbow. So right elbow really starts to um, like really force itself down into the ball. So does the trail elbow. So it's really letting go. And then as it comes through to keep pointing at this target, you're going to find that the lead wrist, when we put that on, so for me, my left wrist actually has to do this lot, which is something golfers are kind of often taught not to do. They're almost taught to hit it this way. Good players do not hit it this way. So if we introduce the lead wrist now, so we've got both hands on. Remember, hands behind trailed leg from front on camera. Trail arm folded. And I've got the club parallel and parallel. I'm going to come to tummy button staying at tummy button so i'm really linking this bottom part or the top part of my club the butt end of the club here up to my body turn so think about that if i don't turn if i don't rotate rotate my body let's say i'm kind of close to the target i hit it's not going to work is it it's going to stay here this is people getting way too far from the inside if i kind of double back and rotate this is going to chuck it out this way as it tries to line up and come round. So getting from a parallel, hopefully to a parallel, so along the same lines, while linking up this to your tummy button is really gonna help. The other thing you're gonna notice is that actually the butt end of the club and the grip needs to slow down for this to speed up. And that is one of the big common issues. So many golfers just pull on that handle really hard, faces left open, horrible crashy strikes, and no speed out to that club. So when you do this, just try and feel how you're almost pushing back on the handle. So you're pushing up to get the club down and back. So you're almost pushing this way and this way to get that club out in front of you to get that release. And that's something amateurs don't do. They almost want to push down and through to hit the ball, which again is where we see these horrible crashes. So you can do it with one hand, a little bit quicker. Just feel it really linking up to your rotation. Keep your rotation happening. Feel like you're moving that pressure onto that lead foot. You can do it with both hands, really feeling like you're linking that up. I mean, I'm just watching it. I'm just watching it here. And then I'm going to apply that feeling of that release to my shots oh, and rip it in there nice and close. Lovely. So simple, so easy to reproduce. Do it at home, do it on the course. It'll improve your strikes of no end. Now, if you like the lessons, make sure you hit that like button down below. Remember, there's a link down there to my newsletter. Subscribe to that if you want more in-depth free tips. But if you want to stay on YouTube and learn a bit more about your backswing, this video's got all the information you're going to need to piece the backswing into this release.